Hello everybody, my name is Panda and welcome back to Monster Hunter Story 2, Wings of Rune. As you can see, we have the Long Gombi set now, well at least the armor anyway. Uh, and the more I build armor, the more I build weapons, the more I started to realize something. Obviously each zone will have a hard cap. In the case of armor, it seems to be 88, or at least based on what I have now. Rathian Max is at 88, Long Gombi Max is at 88, Kadachi Mat or Max is at 88. Um, and it makes sense, right? You have all these monsters, each of which usually have their own unique armor set, of which offers a particular bonus or defense boost, uh, be it elemental or otherwise. And you didn't see it as much in the early game, as we can see with the Rider armor, it had water defense, but everything else kind of had the non-elemental aspect. So I just took it as a grain of salt, and I'm just like, well, the better the number, the better the defense, right? Well, when you get further into the game, or at least where we're at, we can see with the Rathian, it has 88 to fire. The weak point is dragon. Longombi has, will, or will have, 88 to ice, weak point to fire. And the Kadachi would be 88 to thunder, weak point to water. So it's not so much that the gear is set to be better or worse than the other, with the exception of the lower end gear, like Zamtri or the Zamtrios only goes up to 83 when it maxes out, um, whereas the Longombi goes up to 88. So there is a little bit of give and take based on the defense boost per armor within that tier um but ultimately what i am seeing is it just it makes sense right because there has to be balance within the game it doesn't make sense that the kadachi armor maxes out at 88 but the langombi were to go to 100 and suddenly your ice defense is higher than your thunder defense based on the monsters in the area kadachi uh kezu zenogre all of them are thunder based langombi uh, the Jade Baroth, stuff like that are ice based. So it really is just kind of like, hey, here's your defense in the area that we're in. Here's the kind of monsters that you're going to fight. Uh, here is your better armor within that area. Um, so it kind of gives you options. It allows you to play a little bit smarter. It allows you to prepare better. Uh, it doesn't really penalize you for choosing one armor over the other. So like with the Rathian gear that we got all the way back in Akala, um, it's still valid gear. It's still great gear. It gives you the de uh, Dam Protector boost. Is it something you want to take up against the Gamoth? No. No, absolutely not. Um, I would rather have the Long Gombi gear because it's going to give me the better ice defense because Gamoth is an ice-based monster. So, it makes sense. And the same could be said with the weapons. Like, I'm maxed out with the Flamazon at 86, the Kezu Horn at 86. You know, the Pulsar Bow, once that maxes out, would be... Or it is maxed out at 78. Whereas the Blazing Edge was, or I'm sorry, not the Blazing Edge, where is the Blazing Bow is 78. So the weapons, much like the armor, have a max. It has a cap for the location, but you want to be smart about what you're going into battle with. You know, you don't want to take the Kezu Shock Sword up against a Zenogre because Zenogre is defensive against Thunder but you would want to take it up against something else. Same with the Flamazon, you know, you don't want to take it up against an Anjanath, but you can absolutely take it up against the Gamoth because Gamoth has a weak point of fire. So it's nice that they took that into consideration. I don't know why it didn't dawn on me until now that that's how it was set up. <laughs> you know, I'm just like better weapon, better weapon, better weapon. Um, so yeah, yeah, after, after doing a little bit of digging, a little bit of testing, a little bit of uh, leveling up your armor, that's when it dawned on me. I'm just like, oh, wait, that makes total sense. That's of course, that's why I haven't found anything better, because it's kind of prepping me for situational encounters, you know? Uh, with that being said, monster wise, we're exactly the same as you can see, though, at the top of my party, we actually have a Gamoth. That fight was rough. I actually ended up having to fight two of them. The first one knocked me around quite heavily, uh, but we managed to scrape by by the skin of our teeth. But that's why I ended up building the Kezu uh, uh, hunting horn and the pulsar bow from the uh, Kadachi because I wanted to try and paralyze it because it has a it has an attack. It starts off with snow slurp and it covers its legs, its tail, its trunk, its head, and its body. So you have five points to break. The more points you break, the less damage it does on snow stomp because it has less uh, overall attack, right? Um, so I've been getting lucky. I break the uh, the trunk, the head, the legs. At that point, I have the tail and the body, and then I can survive the onslaught of Snow Stomp, which is a multi-hit direct attack. Um, otherwise, it just 
wipe the floor with me and then I would die, lose a heart, get back up and hope for the best. But the longer that the fight goes on, the less time you have between Snow Slurp and Snow Stomp. The first time he casts Snow Slurp, you have five turns. Then it's a Snow Stomp. The second time, it is three turns. The final time, it is one turn. And I've never had a battle proceed longer than that. But usually at that one turn, he has all five parts. You can't break anything in one turn, at least not at my level. Um, so it's it's kind of almost like an enrage timer. The longer it goes, the worse it gets for everybody involved. Uh, I got to the point where I could survive the first two. The final one would end up killing me and Avinia, but not the monster. So we would both lose a heart. But at that point, we pretty much had him down. Uh, as far as getting him to flee, uh, I don't have the monster that's needed for the kinship skill, the Galvanus. Uh, all I had was the paintball, so I got lucky on the 55 on the second one tossed. As far as the monsty egg that I got from it, it is just a good smelling egg. Nothing to write home about. The only reason why I'm keeping it in the party, because you can see the HP and the recovery are pretty much maxed. The speed and crit rate are garbage. Uh, this is not an attack monster. This is a tank monster. Uh, pulling it out, though, the, the blah, 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 words, I can't, <laughs> I can't use them. There's the baby. There's the egg. Uh, I got way too excited. I didn't want to hatch it on a recording. I wanted to hatch it right when I got it. I apologize. But the skills it has, um, if I can find them, I don't remember where those high. Bear with me. I thought the skills were one of these places. I can just pull it up from the monster, I think. The skills that Gamoth has, I can't find them. I apologize. I can't remember where they're hiding. Anyway, it has Rock Break and it has Shout. The Shout will stun monsters of a lower rarity than it, but the Rock Break, it has like Max Rock Bake. I'm trying to remember what it's called, and I apologize. I don't know why I can't find it. Oh, there they are, right in the front, right in front of me. I am so sorry. It has Roar and Mega Breaker. Mega Breaker is basically the upgrade of Rock Breaker, so I replace uh, the Kulu Yaku. Or, no, forgive me, not the Kulu Yaku. Um, the Yi and Kaku. <laughs> I'm all over the place today. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Uh, because it is the better version. So we still have Bibbidi, we still have Reximus, we still have Zenogre, and we still have the Royal Ludroth as the swimmer, but we did end up switching out Yian uh, because I wanted Gamoth, because I wanted that higher end rock breaker. Now, where we left off last time, we ended up fighting Kezu. We knocked out Kezu, we got the parts for the windmills. As you can see, all the windmills are now turning. Everybody's happy, but we got to go investigate the pit at the top of the mountain. I have leveled up my pot to 18. I have currently the Rider Charm going, and I currently have the Finding uh, Prayer going. Uh, we are just going to fast travel there. I don't want to walk all the way there. I apologize. That's just such a long walk. And it is right here. So let's get started to see what's at the pit. Now, I've been thinking, what could possibly be at the pit, right? Well, Longombi, the only time that I found Longombi was in a rare cave uh, as a random summon. Or, forgive me, Ma or Gamoth is so difficult to find the right spot. There it goes. Uh, he's just so high up. <laughs> um, Lang or Langombi, I'm pretty sure, is going to be the boss here because I haven't found it anywhere else. The only place that I found it, the only place that I've been successfully able to find it is through the trial, uh, where it puts you up against a Baggy, the Langombi, and the Red Kezu. Now, health-wise... It wouldn't necessarily make sense to me that it's going to be the big bad, but I don't know where else they're going to introduce it uh, because we're pretty close to being done with this location. Typically, when you get to the point where you have to go investigate a pit, like that's it, you know. Uh, and as we can see, based on number of appearance, we only have two more monsters to see before we see the Langombi. And then, of course, the Jade Baroth is a special monster. We haven't encountered that in any quest aspects. Same with the Red Kezu. So I don't I don't know if this is just kind of one of those special spawns or if this is going to be an actual uh, quest spawn. But that's what I'm going to assume. This is going to be the boss we're going to go up against. 4000 HP comparative to the last thing that we fought that had 48. It it just it's weird. It'll be weird if I'm right. If I'm wrong. Cool. I'll take it. But I just don't know. So onward and upward. Here we go. Feeling we're being watched. It's 
It wasn't that long ago. When a pit opened up in this area. Giant holes? Lights? Enraged monsters? Can't make heads or tails of anything. We'll find the pit if we go that way. Chief has mistaken you for the legendary rider who stopped the Black Blight. But if you do form a bond of kinship with Ratha, you really could become a legend. Yeah, I couldn't have put it better myself. I'm sure you can become a renowned rider too, buddy. <laughs> Is something wrong? Could it be that you're afraid? Because Ratha may have a terrible power? If Ratha really does have that power, I'm sure I wouldn't know what to do either. But Monsties listen to their riders. And if there's worry or doubt in your voice, Ratha will become anxious too. They say the Mind Buddy's grandpa could understand what monsters were saying. But this is the first time I've heard about monsters understanding people. Monsters are extremely sensitive to feelings. It's not words, but emotion. They don't have a language like us, so maybe that's why they're more attuned to feelings. I guess that makes sense. If you're scared, Ratha won't be able to show his true power. He needs to know that you will protect him no matter what. That's the spirit. Something wrong, Naviru? Hmm, it really feels like we've been watched this whole time. But by who? I don't see anyone. Hmm. Sweet toe beans. Do I have fanatical fans following me? I wish they wouldn't be so shy. I love meeting my fans. <sighs> Could that be? We've got trouble. We better hurry, buddy. Alrighty. We're off to that glowing red pinkish light. The ray of rage. Or rage rays as they called it. But first. Go ahead and swap over to Zenogre and do a little bit of a uh, bouncing here. Eventually I'll end up using those stimulants as well as the... Uh, health, defense, and attack items. I just, I'm very, very, very paranoid that if I use them and I don't get more, and obviously we're getting more. We're seeing them in chests very, very rarely, mind you. Uh, and we're also seeing them in expeditions. So it's not like we won't get more, but it, <laughs> I just don't want to use them on these, on these monsties, man. Like we have some high rarity monsties, like we absolutely do. But at the same time, like, even though we have them, it still makes me believe that here I go, use them, and then suddenly I don't want to get rid of the monster because I don't have a direct comparison of what it could be versus its base stats, and if the base stats of X isn't going to be as good as the base stats of Y. Um, so I'm very, very paranoid. Oh my god, Gamoth, you're just so slow. Alright, let me heal up because I got poisoned in that. Uh, da, 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 da. All right. <laughs> Greetings, Traveler. Are you ready to have the thrill of your nine lives with this famous Lavania Geyser Jump? Geyser Jump? I don't know about you, but I thought felines and waters don't mix well. Don't worry your whiskers. It's 100% safe, guaranteed. Plus, there's no other way forward anyway. There's just some rules and clauses to go over first. The geysers are numbered by destination. It's your own responsibility to make sure you use the correct geyser. Uh, I guess we really don't have a choice. Crazy as it sounds, it could be a fun new experience. Let's do this. When I said onwards and upwards, I didn't mean it. <laughs> I really didn't mean it like that. Jeez. Oh, there's nothing safe about that. Oh, nothing safe at all. <laughs> Oh, 
All right, where did we end up? Uh, well, I was there. Now I'm here. Okay. Oh, I missed the chest. Foolish me. That was blocked off. Okay. Yeah, I got my bearings again. All right, we're going to switch lead Monsi. Sorry, Gamoth. It's not that I don't love you. You're beautiful and large, but you're just so slow. I am not going to poke the Jade Bear off. I do not necessarily need the materials right now. Let's see, this is number three. Where will this one send us? I don't want three yet. There's got to be a two. Woohoo! Well, that was unfortunate. Not what I wanted to do, but I'll take it. Okay, some more stimulants. I am always happy to get stimulants. Always, always, always. There's two. Okay. Okay. And then we got a chest up here, so let's go grab that real quick. And the reason why I'm wearing the Longombi armor now, aside from the fact that I was fighting Gamoth, is because I believe, or yeah, because I believe that's the Longombi that we're going to be fighting. It makes sense to have that ice, uh, ice defense. So that's why we're doing that. Just uh, clear up any confusion there. Plus, we don't get anything with the um, Dem Protector in this regard because quest monsters don't flee. So. It just makes sense to have the better better defense, given what I believe that I'm about to go up against. Now, I could be wrong, and it could put me in a terrible spot. Wait, where am I now? Oh. Well, okay, that works. I can go back and get that chest, and then we can hit one, and then I guess we'll take three. I wish they numbered them on the mini-map, too, of where it was actually going. Uh, no. I want to go this way. There we go. There's the chest. Probably nothing worth a damn, but we'll pick it up anyway. Ah, I mean life powder. You can't really go along with wrong with life powder. Like it's it's helpful. All right, back to one, then to three. I'm glad the cutscene doesn't play every single time, though. <laughs> that would be so annoying. All right. All right, where to put us now? Okay, cool. Yeah, we'll just keep keep going left then. Okay, the expedition's back. How do I get up there? Oh, probably a jump. Yes, fantastic. I was really, really worried that I was going to have to come back here with like a flying monster or something once I got the ability to fly. Okay, flash bomb. I'll take it. I can make those myself now, so that's good, but I haven't really been using them since we haven't been up against Monobolos. But where I got the shell cast and Ed, I never really, I stopped using the flash bombs anyway because I can just pull them out of the ground. Uh, what is that? Two. We've done two. I know where two takes us. I don't need to take that one. So there's no reason to hit this geyser. chests over there. Something is going to sneak up on me. Alright. Uh, no real need to jump it looks like. Oh, I should probably, since we're cold, use hot mist. Regardless of the fact that I can quick kill everything that's in here, I won't be able to 
quick kill something that I haven't already fought. Technically, quest monsters, even if you already fight them, will still have a great health bar anyway. So. Oh, and speaking of, uh, after doing some testing, I have found that it's situational. If a monster has a great health bar, depending on the situation, it is depending on whether or not you can get it to retreat. If it's a quest monster, we know for sure it can't. You throw it, it says in, uh, ineffective, won't work. I need to still do some testing within Everdens, because that's where we found the red kezu, and even though it didn't say ineffective, it didn't actually give me a retreat rate increase, so I don't know what that was about. I'm still testing, but with the Gamoth, First time that I fought it, gray health bar, threw the thing, got the 55% from the zero. So I got the 55% plus from the paintball. So depending on the situation, throw the paintball. We know for sure quests will not work. Anything else, go ahead and throw it. Worst case scenario, you're out of paintball. Ian, okay. So, with another burrow here, obviously we are fighting a boss and ending this chapter. And I'm okay with that. I believe I have everything for this location. I know monsty wise we do, for sure. Um, so, we're all the way caught up to Zenogre, and we're all the way caught up to Gamoth. We have hatched these, we have them, they're in our Monstipedia, we're fine. 56, 57, I do not know what those are. When we look at the actual Monsterpedia, uh, we can see that 49 and 50, I don't have, have no idea what they are, but they're not hatchable monsters regardless. And then 56, 57 is after um, Gamoth and Zenogre. So what those are, probably not until the next area. What these are, I hope to find out soon. I have not seen them. I don't know what they are. I have not seen anything. I thought maybe here, if they're not here, I don't know where they're at. Uh, so... It is a it is a good question what those those are and once I find out obviously I'll let you guys know but <laughs> until then I'm gonna hunt the regular Kezu because I need the parts the red Kezu I have plenty of uh, the other Kezu ran away but I am not gonna chase it down we only have the one way to go up here so we'll just scream around this red Kezu real quick yeah Toby and uh, Kezu parts I'm low on, so if I see him, I am going to hunt him. Oh, well, we're at the hole anyway. Well, I was wrong about the long gombi. <laughs> we have to stop them before they get the chance to damage this village. You can count on us, Avinia. Yes, you can, I think. <laughs> Maybe. Um, I've neither fought a Celtus or a Celtus queen. This is, this is, this is new to me. Um, I'm going to go off of my logic here and pull out my Kezu horn because pretty much anything insectoid or similar has been weak to that. 
Now we have Zenogre doing technical on the queen. We can follow suit and hope for a double and we'll go for the head. Well, that was a bad idea, so let's not do that. Um, we also will not do speed. So let's go ahead and switch out Zenogre. We'll pull out Bibbity because we know they're doing tech. And the horn does me no good. Let's see, you're attacking me. That's great. Let's go ahead and pull out the bow. And we'll do power. So was the bow good? Did the bow work? Doesn't... Okay, it did. Um, neither of them are attacking and it's making me nervous. They joined together. I've got a bad feeling about this. Mind attacks from the Celtus and its queen can do a lot of damage. Keep your guard up. All right. Well, I guess uh, we'll figure that out. So we can attack the Celtus on the back of it, though. Crossfang is doing speed. I wonder if they swapped the power because of that. If so, we can run speed. Worst case scenario, we don't get the double, but... Yep, cool. Okay, and that does a lot of damage. So, yeah, we'll just break the part on it. I will hold on. Well, no, we can do the double ride. It's going to do a decent amount of damage. There's no real harm in that. Um, yeah, that's fine. All right, the Celtus is down. We have the head that's left. They're not attacking anybody. Um, so that's why. Okay. I should have saved it. Oh, I see. So the queen is ultimately the big deal. Because they'll just keep uh, summoning Celtus. Got it. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Makes sense. Alright, so we'll just continue to disregard the Celtus because he's really not doing a whole lot of damage. The queen, on the other hand, will continue to beat up on um, we'll go power because we know it's doing technical. I doubt it's doing power attack still. We'll get the double with Frostfang, and then I will continue to attack the head. Oh god, it's doing speed. What do you mean you get to do double attacks for you, Rude? Alright, well if it's doing speed... Let's go ahead and swap out for Reximus. Reximus has some tech attacks, and that should do. This should break the head. We already got the head-to-head, uh, -head, so that's good, meaning they're at least half health. So the fight's about over. We're doing we're doing fine. I'm not <laughs> I'm not hurting because I am way over leveled, but. I just don't know how best to approach this fight, and that's kind of what I'm trying to get my trying to get some uh, footing on. So let's go ahead and switch you back over to the queen. We'll start working on the legs. Hopefully the bow is still the same. The legs are not weak to the bow. Well, the queen is almost dead. Um, let's keep attacking the queen. We'll go for the legs. I will switch up the weapon to the horn and hope that is the key here. It is not. Well, I guess she broke the legs, so I wouldn't know. We ended up going for the body. Oh, Jesus, that did hit hard. Oh, Jesus. Oh, 
What the hell just happened? Um. Well, hell, okay. Hold on. I don't know if it's back on technical now. I don't know. I'm going to go with power, worst case. Uh, I'm so nervous. Um. I need to switch weapons regardless. Let's let's do flame is on. Let's hope for the best. Oh, thank God, we got lucky. Up, oh, looks like you're weak to fire. That's good to know. All right, the queen's down. We just got to finish out the other one. I bet you a double ride will do it. Two Neopatron with one stone. Man, we rock so hard. Thank you for your help, Frostfang and I probably wouldn't or Frostfang and I probably couldn't have stopped those monsters on our own. Neopatron, you say? I need that for upgrades, you say? Gamoth weapons? No, it wasn't Gamoth. Gamoth was Vespoid material. What one needed Neopatron? Something needed it. Uh, Stella Shell, Stella's Wing, Queen Shell, Regular Shell, Queen Shell, Wing, Aquasag, and Fluid. I'm gonna have to look. Because something needed it. Maybe it was the Trigger X weapons. <laughs> Your kinship stone powered up again! Just like when we fought the Anginath and Rathian! It's gotta be the light that made them act all weird. Which means... The guild's theory was correct. This light makes monsters more violent. But something doesn't add up. When monsters are hit by the rage rays, they lose control. That means it should be dangerous for our monsties, too. I wonder why the light doesn't affect them. This is some seriously perplexing stuff. But I'd say we're making progress. Let's head back to the Chief. Yes, let's go. Let's head to the village. Shouldn't we request backup from the other hunters? Your reasoning? Hmm. I just have a bad feeling. Okay, then. Let's reach out to them. Oh. I thought you'd object. It's just as you said. We shouldn't wait until it's too late. Besides, I hear your instincts are spot on. I see. Well, then. But I'm a bit disappointed. Huh? Why? Oh, it's neither here nor there. All right, we'll just go ahead and fast travel. Well, hold on. Just kidding. I'm going to unlock the rest of the map over here. Ah, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> sneaky, sneaky. Hiding a chest all the way back here. Ah, I mean, it's not anything to write home about. Kinship. Medium. Increase my kinship gauge, I'm sure. I knew it was gonna happen sooner or later. They would hide a chest or something and hide them back in the back in the pits of one of these. All right, now we're good. Now I'm comfortable heading back. Why? I still got like one, two places that show Catavan stands, but I haven't unlocked yet. It makes me nervous. I'm like, how am I missing these? Why? All right, Chief. We gotta talk. Actually, real quick, I want to check my field guide, Monsterpedia. 
I want to look. Are those the two? No, those weren't the two. Well, they probably are the two. I'll probably find them in the wild, but because these were boss versions, we actually find them here. So those are probably the two, and it would make sense. It would make total sense. But why haven't we found a long Gombi in the wild? Like, that's what's weird, right? Maybe there's another quest before we move out of this location. We have to fight the long Gombi, or the long Gombi gets in our way, or some stupid, silly scenario. My friends, you're back. Are you okay? We ran into a Celtus and Celtus Queen by the pit. Both Rage Raid. As we suspected, the monster started raging because of the light from the pit. It appears so. I bet that's what made Guardian Ratha lose control. I've been desperately trying to understand what was happening to him. I shudder to think what would have happened if those Rage Raid monsters made it to the village. Thanks to you, we avoided the worst case scenario. On behalf of all of Kuan, I thank you. Told you we'd protect the village. Right, buddy? I've learned something as well. Apparently, a feline spotted old Day Day on snow-clad Mount Lavina. Now we're talking! Let's get a move on! Yes. When you're ready, let's go. All right, that makes sense then. So the long gombi is probably what's going to stop us on on the way. Old Day Day's words of wisdom. Is the power slumbling in Ratha truly so ruinous? If it is, what are then what the ba 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 ba? Words are hard. <laughs> if it is, then what needs to be done about it? Uh, with a clouded head, you head to the last known location of Old Day Day, but the rays of hope in your mind are shadowed by the sneaking sense of dread. I promise I can read, just not all the time. Uh, we'll go check to see if what we uh, what we can use those materials for, because I know I know it was for something, and I really want to build those weapons that I've been eyeballing for some Welcome. time. And I want to say it was one of the weapons. Time to forge. Ah, uh, Crimson Club. No, no. Ew. Ew. But I have to build that at some point. Well, it was. It was the giant's hammer. Um, but it wasn't... It apparently wasn't that. Uh, so I don't know. Oh, hello. You're neat. You're really neat. I need to get so many more parts. Um, giant's Kodo... Feminine Haze, Heat Haze. Oops. Sleep Coating and Sleep Coating. Both are sleep. Interesting. I wonder why there are two bows in that regard. Uh, but we'll have to build both of those as well. Tigrex, which we need. Cellophos, okay. And Monsieur Gore. Uh, ooh, okay. Cool. Yeah, I'm going to have to get a lot of parts. Is there any new armor? Yes. Oh man, that thing looks like a beast. Starts at 73 though, I bet that would knock out our 88 and its base defense. It's not elemental defense. Reloading Bombardier and Chance Guard. What does Bombardier give me? Um, blast Blight and Explosives, which I don't have either of. But maybe the weapons will give me Blast Blight. Does the hammer give me Blast Blight? That would be neat. Nope, Sleep Seal. Cool. Well, now we know. Neat. Well, I'm going to, I guess, work on Thank that. You. And then uh, once we're ready to head out, we'll move on and find old Day Day. But in the meantime, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. But as always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.